Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on Valheim for yet another progress episode as well as I will be participating in the Board Hunter 2 event. Now I am joined on Bugs, his team, which is called Bugs Sims. So hopefully together we can check out at that first place and get a brand new custom title that has been added for this event. Now before we get into today's video, as always, I will be giving away 25 bonds. The first commenter on today's video will receive the first five bonds, so definitely make sure to turn on those notifications. And then the other 20 bonds will be split between two different winners, winning 10 of these bonds each. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below. The winners will be picked in just about two days. As always, they will be announced in my community Discord, in the service Discord, and on my pinned comments. Links of Discord are down below in the description, so definitely make sure to join those. Now I personally am joining like two days late into this event because I was on a holiday but as you can see I made an excel spreadsheet so we could keep uh, track of all the drops that we already got and my team has gone through a lot of effort already because as you can see most of these drops have already been obtained as you can see these um, Varago drops are actually called uh, red because they aren't being able to obtain at the moment because of some bugs so the main things we still have to do is AOD and Elite Dungeon Tree. We will be working on that when everyone is online today. For the rest, I'm mainly going to focus on getting some next drops here and hopefully checking off some of those items, as well as I might go for the Cal fights to get myself the offhand Dragon Rapier. So hopefully we can cross off those slots as quickly as possible to get those additional points. Oh shit, I just got myself a Virtus book. That's actually very nice because it's also a new collection log. I don't know if this is a drop that I need for the board hunter. So let me go ahead and check that real quick. But I'm already very excited for the collection log item. And actually, yes, my man just said we actually needed that. So that's beautiful. Well, we did get ourselves a back-to-back -back drop of Pernix Boots as well, but unfortunately this is not one of the items that we need for the board hunter event. And it's also a duplicate item, so no new collection log item. Oh yes, what a beauty. So we got new personal best right there as well as a want of appraisal drop. Now this is amazing because this is of course one of the drops that we need for the board hunter as well as new collection log slot and it's one of the most expensive drops you can get. So I'm super excited about this one. Damn, let's go. No flipping way. We just got ourselves a new PB by the way with a 12 minute kill and as you can see Rexer got himself an Eldritch crossbow stock. I don't know if that's the piece that we need or not but as you can see i got myself the umbral urn which is the pet here and it actually doubled as well so i pretty much have two pets in one kill here and that's absolutely beautiful i'm sorry for everyone who actually went for the pet got that kill count 85 which is very low kill count but um yeah there we go very beautiful new pet let's go ahead and unlock it and of course now i have to change my pet um so this will be my new boss pet that will actually be following me if i can go ahead and find mb right here somewhere in all these bosses MB right there, call pet, and this will now be my uh, override as well. That is so beautiful. And there we go. I just hit myself a nice little milestone of hitting 150 million experience in Dungeoneering while doing Elite Dungeons 3. So far, I've been having an amazing day. I've got the appraisal wand, I've got myself 150 million experience in Dungeoneering, and I got the pet here, which is super sick. Hopefully we can finish today off with another nice little drop to end off or to help out with the board hunter items. And here we go, another drop. We just got ourselves Virtus Boots, which is another collection lock slot. So now we have 19 out of 20 slots filled in. We only need, I believe, um, Virtus Boots as well. Let me check real quick. Um, so we still need Virtus Gloves and then we are done. But unfortunately these items are not going towards the collection, uh, towards the board hunter. So yeah, that kind of sucks. It just completed another run of the Shadow Reef and as you can see that was 90 runs in total which is a nice little milestone. Unfortunately we haven't gotten any other drops yet so we're going to keep grinding this. Next up we just got ourselves 100 million experience in strength while doing Elite Dungeons 3. Not too bad at all. Yes, I just got myself another limp or a double limp for the Eldritch Crossbow as a drop here at Kilgan 95. That is very beautiful. We only need the mechanism now. The limp was actually one of the drops that we needed. Now I was hoping for the mechanism myself because that would finish collection log as well but I'm not going to complain about a double limp drop there. Alright, swapping this limp for the mechanism to make another Eldritch Crossbow. Easy game. 
Decided to do just some Reaper tiles and I just got myself another one of these Philastrophies or Philastrasies uh, from one of the Magisters and that gave me another 20 scraps of the scripture which is very nice. I believe I almost have enough to make one sword or one copage so far. Well, seems like we got a back-to-back -back one of those for another 25 scraps this time, not too bad at all. Now something that I do have to address here is that unfortunately the board hunter event is pretty much over so the rules got altered while the event was actually live which I don't think should be happening but it is what it is nothing will actually be able to change that now. So pretty much there is a team that already won a couple of days before the end of the actual event. Now with this of course we aren't like super excited anymore about the event because we wanted the first place to show off the title which is of course the biggest flex you can have in the game. Now because the event ended, I don't want to end off with just stopping there. I still want to grind out some of the drops that we still need to finish the event and try to get at least a second or third place or try to go for that even though it doesn't really have any additional meaning to us. Now for the rest, I do want to just grind some PVM and try to go for some collection logs as well. I don't feel like going for the final boss title right now just because I was having a lot of fun doing different bosses again during the event and I want to keep that fun up because I really enjoyed it quite a lot. So the things that I want to look for is for example the Corporal Beast, as you can see I still need two drops right here. Some other things might be some Godwatch Dungeon 2, for example, I would not be doing Grigorvik, but I could go to Hellweird because this can also drop the dormant enema core, uh, core legs, which would, um, which would complete the Grigorovic um, collection log as well. And on top of that, there are some things like Calvite King where I just need to pet to finish the log, Nex where I just need to get myself Virtus Gloves. And these like next is something that I really want to do because there are also some other drops that we still need for the collection log and uh, for the board hunter and so on. So I might go to next first. Oh well, there we go. That is a Pernix Chaps drop. And funnily enough, I believe this is actually the last Pernix piece that we would need for the board hunter event. And there we go. We just hit a beautiful little milestone of getting 300 next kills total. No way, we finally did it. As you can see, we just got Dojo Mojo, the agility pet, which is literally so sick. I just got back from holiday today. I'm just doing all my daily tasks. And as you can see, I had an agility daily task to get myself the agility pet. Now, if we go ahead and look to my pet storage, this should be the last skilling pet that I need. As you can see right here, the list is absolutely completed. So we have now collected every single skilling pet. So that's absolutely beautiful. And um, there we go, Dojo Mojo right next to me. So while I was gone, as you can see, when we check out the GE, a lot of items have actually sold and also bought. Now we sold the one of Prazel for 590 mil. We also made an Eldritch Crossbow and sold that for 890 mil. And then of course, Dragon Maze for an additional 18 mil. And we also bought ourselves a Blood Dye for 750 mil. Now the reason why I want this Blood Dye is because I want to dye my Wand of Prazel into blood as well. Or not my Wand of Prazel, sorry, I want to dye my Ascension Crossbow into blood as well. And then I will have to get myself a Shadow Dye for um, the Wand of Prazel there. But anyways, before we do this, I have to go ahead and repair it. So let's go to Bob real quick and get this done. Also got my nice little Dojo Mojo following me right now because I'm just so excited that we actually managed to get it. Repair all, let's go ahead and do that and that will be 20k, not too much at all. Use the blood dye on there, yes I'm sure. And now we can also go ahead and augment this and put some perks on. Oh nice, I was just doing my squeal of fortune and as you can see with an experience lamp, I actually got myself 100 million experience in prayer. That is a nice little milestone. All right, quickly got myself 20 elite caskets. I am going for a shadow dye myself as they are currently worth over 800 mil. So let's go ahead and open all 20 of those and hopefully see myself die. I'm going to use the re-rolls on some of the really bad ones and there we go we got a turned age die it's not the die that i want but let's go that's also a new collection log slot that is so beautiful we still have 15 caskets left as well oh i cannot believe that just happened that's actually sick uh, yeah i'm very excited about that let's get ourselves another one come on let's keep this going that is yes we got the shadow die no way we got the shadow die as well that is freaking beautiful another collection log update there that's the die we needed i'm so happy i didn't even have to spend my coins on this 
No way, we just got two dice from that opening. That is so good. I cannot believe that just happened. My luck has been quite bad as well in the clues, but that just turned around with two dice and 20 clue scrolls. Holy, I did not expect that to happen at all. Final casket there. Not going to complain about that loot, man. So I quickly went ahead and repaired the Wand of the Praetal. Now let's use the Shadow Die on here. Yes, I am very sure. And now we have the Wand of Praetal Shadow Die. And I'll also be able to augment this, which is super sick. Um, actually, I should not have equipped it, but oh well. Anyways, on that beautiful note, this is where I will be ending off today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to enter the giveaway. I'll be catching you guys in my next videos. Take care and peace.